What's up guys? Titan Fitness Multi-Grip Barbell Version 2 versus the Rogue MG3 Barbell. That's what we got in store for you today. Um, so we're going to review the two, see how they compare to each other, examine different price points and things like that, and then we'll get started here uh, just by going through and testing out this bar. We have the review of the other barbell. It's not the MG3. We have the MG24. So a um, little bit of difference there but we'll address those differences when we go through the list on the board that we have set up. First question that might come to your mind is why would you want a multi-grip barbell in the first place? And you're gonna get a few benefits out of it. So first major benefit is just gonna be that shoulder position for you, right? When we always talk about a barbell bench press, we talk about having to grip the bar and then externally rotate, like you're bending the bar in half and that'll keep your shoulders safe. But with this multi-grip bar, it's actually going to put you into that externally rotated position automatically, right? By using that neutral grip here. Um, and so I'm already keeping my, el my elbows in tight. And then the other added benefit of this bar is that you can actually keep that focus on the triceps a little bit more. As I come down with that narrow grip, I can really put a lot of emphasis on the triceps, get a lot of muscle recruitment out of them. Um, and then I'm also really getting extra squeeze on the chest here too, right? So if I go a little bit wider with the grips, I do want to focus a little bit more on my chest. You know, I can really focus on squeezing the bar inward and really keeping that tension on the chest the entire time. Versus a regular barbell, I'm kind of locked out in this position, just pressing here, right? But this one, I'm really able to squeeze tight, just like if I was doing like a dumbbell bench press, the added benefit is that I get to squeeze those dumbbells in close together and get that added muscle recruitment of the chest. All right, guys, so it seems like a really well-crafted bar. Um, it's all welded as one piece. These sleeves don't spin individually. It's all welded together, um, so you don't have to uh, worry about that at all. The other added benefit is that it's just um, these handles are crafted really well. They're sturdy. They're knurled on the grips, so they feel good in your hand. Um, and then you're also going to get um, a good amount of sleeve length here for you. All right, so the one thing that is a little bit annoying about the bar is that this is actually a vinyl sticker that comes on here, so you can already see that it's starting to, to scrape off just with some of the wear and tear that comes with general use of it, um, versus the Rogue one, um, where this is actually a powder-coated one, so instead of this sticker, it's actually going to be on here very well, not, not scraping up and, or uh, scraping off and everything. Um, so the on only thing I like about this is if you were like a Rogue brand whore or something, and your entire gym was Rogue products, and then you didn't want to have this sticker here saying Titan Fitness that kind of throws off the theme, you could just scrape this off, and then you don't have that issue of it showing Titan Fitness, and you can put whatever you want on. All right, so let's talk about some specs and the exact differences between the two barbells. Um, so first off, we'll go through that Rogue MG3 bar, um, and we'll just get right to it going through the price point. Um, right off the bat, you got 275 uh, for just the bar alone, right? On top of that, you've got $43.46 as of right now to ship to the West Coast. Um, and then also, if you want to use the bar, and we'll get to this a little bit later, um, the sleeve diameter is a little bit different. So you can't just go with your normal collars that you would use for your regular barbell. Um, the sleeve diameter is a little bit different, so you're gonna have to purchase some extra um, HG axle collars, and those are gonna come in at $40, all right? Um, Sleeve length is going to be 82 inches. Uh, the, the loadable sleeve length, though, is going to be at 14 inches. Um, grips, you get one set angled, two sets of uh, neutral grips, and then those are going to be knurled handles as well as this uh, Titan Fitness bar here. And then the sleeve diameter is going to be 1.91 inches, and that's where the difference is really made with that HG collar. Um, standard is going to be two inches, so it's going to be that little difference that makes you have to purchase these extra collars here. Um, so you're looking at 275 for the bar, 4346 dollars um, for shipping, $40 for the collars if you don't already have the HG axle collars, and that's going to bring you out to $358.46 um, as of right now, $358.46. Um, and that's going to be the total price for that one. So hopping over to the Titan Fitness bar, what we've got going on over here, um, Right off the bat, price point, we're going to get $118.99, and the shipping is going to be free. So no, no charge shipping, I believe that's anywhere in the U.S., so um, you're good to go there. Uh, length is going to be 82 inches, 
loadable sleeve length, and, and that's actually exactly identical over with the road bar, right? So they're both going to be 82 inches. Pretty much everything else here evens out and is almost exactly the same. Loadable sleeve length, 14 inches, same as the Rogue MG3 bar. So one major difference you're going to get here is that weight of the bar, right? So it's going to be 45 pounds um, standard on the multi-grip barbell version 2 from Titan. But over here on the Rogue barbell, you're going to get a 43 pound bar, right? So this could be a little bit of an issue um, if you're used to using the same weights for every workout. And you're going to have to do a little bit more math in your head. Let's say if I load up 45s on the bar, now it's not going to be 135, it's going to be 133. Right? So I have to do that little extra bit of math there. Um, and it, might, it just gets a little bit annoying. So you have to take that into account. Versus with the Titan Fitness Bar, it's 45 pounds. You don't have to think about anything else. You just load on your weights as you normally would. Um, grips on the Titan Bar, you're going to get one set angle of 30 degrees, two sets neutral again. Same as with the Rogue Bar. Um, and then the other major uh, difference point right here is that that sleeve diameter is standard. Uh, the standard Olympic size, the two inches. Um, so you're not going to need to purchase any extra sleeves. You can just use the or the collars. You can just use the collars that you use with your regular barbell, and that's going to work fine on this bar for you. Um, that's the major difference between the two. And then also this price point here, right? You're looking at 118.99 versus over here at Rogue. You're looking at a total of 358.46 after shipping, um, plus. The, the extra collars you're gonna have to purchase for the bar. The reason you're getting that price point difference is because Titan is gonna be outsourcing to China for all of their steel, all of their welding, uh, versus Rogue, where everything's done here in the US. Um, it's a big name brand company, so you're really paying for those kind of two things there. If you're looking uh, to get a bar, like a multi-grit bar, but you're trying to avoid that high price point of the Rogue bar, Titan Fitness is a good route to go, right? You're gonna save a little bit of money, you're gonna get that 118 price point versus the upwards of 300 with the Rogue Bar, um, and it's gonna work with all your standard collar grips. So you're getting all the benefit, um, not spending as much cash too. And this is really, um, from what I can tell, it, it's almost the exact same thing, right? You're just really um, paying a lower price point for almost the same thing. All right guys, make sure to go check out our website, curlsintherack.com. Got some good workout plans for you, some free guaranteed gains. We got some, some merch you can pick up, some t-shirts. Check it out. Also make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.